So students, we have been learning about the fundamental unit of life, that is the cell. So we were basically studying about the structural organization of the cell, what all it is composed of, and what did we see? That it was composed of a plasma membrane, it was composed of cytoplasm and the nucleus, and in case of the plant cells, it had another layer which was known as a cell wall, which was dead. Now this plasma membrane or the outermost boundary of the cell, it keeps it away from the external environment and on the inside, the internal environment of the cell is regulating all the life functions. Now how are all these life functions being performed? These are performed with the help of certain cell organelles which are located in the different places in the cell itself. So coming to these cell organelles, we need to understand that they are specialized in their functions and they will perform the same functions in whichever cell they are. The first is the endoplasmic reticulum. Now there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. One is a rough endoplasmic reticulum and the another one is a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now this rough endoplasmic reticulum, why is it rough? which makes it rough? There are small structures which are known as the ribosomes. So how do you remember it? R for ribosomes and R for rough. These ribosomes are doing the protein synthesis. They are making proteins for the cell. Now coming to the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, it lacks these ribosomes and that is why it is smooth. And it is producing the fats and the lipids. Now if you remember, we had talked about it in the previous video that the plasma membrane is made up of the proteins and the lipids. So the ribosomes are making proteins and the lipids are coming from the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So these together they will go into making of the plasma membrane and the process is known as membrane biogenesis. Genesis means kisi cheez ka banna and membrane ka banna would be membrane biogenesis. Ab iske in the proteins ban gaye, iske in the lipids ban gaye, iske in the fats ban gaye, to inka kya hoega? They will now travel to another organelle which is known as the Golgi apparatus. And Golgi apparatus mein kya hai? There are these stacks or we can say the piles like structure. There is a pile of structures and these structures are known as the cisterns. They are lying one on top of the other. These Golgi apparatus like any factory, जो उसके अंदर मटेरियल आएगा उसको वो थोड़ी देर तक अपने अंदर स्टोर करेगी मॉडिफाई करेगी पैक करेगी और आगे ट्रांसपोर्ट करेगी दिस इज व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द गोल्गी ऑपरेटर्स उसके अंदर जो जो प्रोटीन्स आए लिपिड्स आए फैट्स आए उनको वो क्या करती है उसको थोड़ी देर के लिए अपने अंदर स्टोर करती है फिर उनको वो मॉडिफाई करती है चेंज करती है सो दैट इट कैन बी पैक्ड एंड इट कैन बी डिस्पैच और इट कैन बी सेंट टू वेयर एवर इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन द सेल now in addition to these golgi apparatus are also converting the simple sugars into the complex sugars plus they are also producing certain other organelles which are known as the lysosomes abhi lysosomes kya cheez hai these are also small cell organelles and the main function is the disposal of the cell debris matlab jo cell ke andar kachra hai jo koi bhi cheez foreign body aage cell ke andar it has to be removed because it will damage the cell so how does it do that? It has got certain enzymes. So one thing we need to remember children ki jo proteins ribosomes ne banai the rough endoplasmic reticulum mein, some of those proteins are also acting as the enzymes. Now these enzymes are there in the lysosomes and which are helping in the digestion of this unwanted material. Now what happens sometimes ki ye jo cell hai jiske andar ye lysosomes hain kai baar ye cell damage ho jata hai so it has to be disposed of because it becomes toxic it will be harmful for the body or the organism so it has to be disposed of to wo disposal kaun karta hai lysosome but the lysosome is also present inside the cell only so what will happen the lysosome will burst it will release those enzymes and it will clear off or it will dispose of the cell in the bargain, wo could be destroyed ho jayega. That is why they are known as the suicidal bags. Now next organelle which we are coming to is very very important because it is giving energy for the various activities of the cell. It is the mitochondria. Ab ye jo mitochondria hai, it is also a double walled sac like structure. This ki andar wali jo layer hai, it is like folds. So, jitna fold zyada hoga, it means utna surface area zyada hai, utna rasta zyada hai, jis mein wo kaam kar sakta hai, ATP produce kar sakta hai. 
So it is giving energy in the form of ATP and the full form of ATP is adenosine triphosphate. और ये जो अंदर वाले फोल्ड्स हैं इनको हम बोलते हैं क्रिस्टी सो डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज इन सिस्टर्स ऑफ द गोल्गी ऑपरेटर्स एंड क्रिस्टी ऑफ द माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया एक चीज़ जो बहुत डिफरेंट है माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया में एज कम्पेयर टू द अदर सेल और कनेलीज इज दैट इट हैज़ गॉट इट्स ओन डी एन एंड राइबोसोम्स सो इट कैन मेक इट्स ओन प्रोटीन्स इट इज़ नॉट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन एनी अदर सेल और कनेली फॉर इट्स प्रोटीन कंटेंट और रिक्वायरमेंट सो एन अदर सेल और कनेली इज द प्लास्टिक्स Now remember that P for plastids and P for plants. So these plastids are present only in case of the plants. So these plastids are mainly of two type. One is a chromoplast, another one is a leucoplast. So chromoplasts are the coloured plastids which are given colour to the cell or to the plant in the form of red colour, yellow colour, or whatever. Now there are other plastids which are giving the green colour to the leaves and all. by means of which it is doing photosynthesis and they are the chloroplasts because they have got a green coloring pigment which is known as a chlorophyll and the third type are the leucoplasts these leucoplasts basically are storing certain substances like starch oil proteins and they are colorless or they are white so this is one very important function of the plastids coming to the last is the vacuoles Now these vacuoles are comparatively bigger or larger in case of the plant cells as compared to the animal cells. Now think children कि अगर एक खाली जगह है किसी cell के अंदर या एक कमरे के अंदर और वो खाली जगह जो है वो collapse हो सकती है तो cell भी तो collapse हो सकता है So it has to be very tight. वो tight कौन करता है उसको There is a structure which is known as the cell sap. So this cell sap basically gives it the turgidity या tightness. T for turgidity, T for tightness. जिससे cell की shape नहीं खराब होती और वो collapse नहीं होता Now vacuoles may also be present in certain organelles or you can say certain organisms which are unicellular as in the case of amoeba. And these vacuoles they help them to digest the food particles. So basically they are the food vacuoles because they have got certain digestive enzymes in them. They help them to digest the food. एंड कुछ ऐसे हैं जो वाटर कंटेंट को बैलेंस करने की कोशिश करते हैं वैक्यूल्स फॉर दे हेल्प दैम इन ऑस्मो रेगुलेशन बैलेंसिंग द वाटर कंटेंट इन द सेल तो जब पानी बहुत ज़्यादा हो जाता है एक्सेस ऑफ द वाटर इज टू बी थ्रोन आउट सो देर आर सर्टेन वैक्यूल्स विच आर नोन एज अ कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल वैक्यूल्स विच आर जस्ट रिलीजिंग और बर्स्टिंग एंड थ्रोइंग द एक्सेस वाटर आउटसाइड द सेल so this was about the vacuoles so we have studied so much about all the cell organelles and we should now know that all the cell organelles are the structural units and which are giving the cell theory that is basically that all the cells they are the basic unit of structure they are the basic unit of function and now we know that all these functions are being performed by these cell organelles which are inside the cell we will understand more when we see these diagrams now this is the animal cell in which we can see we start from the plasma membrane which is the outermost layer and it is a living membrane coming inside we have got these stack like structures which are known as the golgi apparatus and the main function is storage then we have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum means the ribosomes are missing and we already studied that the function is the production of the fats and the lipids now this here is basically the mitochondria now this is the plant cell the only difference or i can say one of the differences is that outside it has got a cell wall and inside there is a nucleus there are the smooth endoplasmic reticulum there are the rough endoplasmic reticulum and these big structures are known as the vacuoles which have got the cell sap so that the cell does not collapse this is a cytoplasm so cytoplasm plus nucleus is again known as the protoplasm so the difference is that in this case there is a cell wall which is absent in case of the uh, animal cell and this is the bigger vacuole as compared to that in case of the animal cell and also remember children that in the vacuole there are substances like the amino acids sugars various organic acids and some of the proteins so these are some of the basic differences between the plant cell and the animal cell now i'm sure that after seeing these diagrams all the concepts would be completely clear and you would have understood all the aspects of this fundamental unit of life which is a cell and how the various cell organelles are performing their various specialized functions 
So thank you so much children. If you have liked the session, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel.